Good day and welcome to your favorite spot program on TV Plus Sport. I'm Muda Shirushitu and um, we'll be going straight to a very important um, topic of the day. Um, waiting for me across the other world, he, all the way from um, Florida, is Professor Sadiq M. Abdullahi. Um, good morning from Nigeria, um, Professor. Good morning and thank you for having me again. Yeah, it's, um, 2023 um, election is by the way around the corner and we've been seeing many manifestos on the economy and how to grow the economy from the three leading political parties from the APC to the PDP and not forgetting the Labour Party. Those are the three leading political parties and the whole world knows that one of these three will become the president um, of the country. And um, we'll now look at, um, in that manifesto, as we all know, there's been so much talk about other sector of the economy, but there's a big um, omission, I would say that, because we all know that um, if there's any unifying factor in this country, it has to be sport. So we are taking your own expert views and opinion. Being a sport administrator, you've worked with um, several sport ministers in the country, still even the present sport minister, and you have so many publications on sport and grassroots. No doubt about it, there's no better person that can talk on this than you. Professor, you've looked at the three manifestos of the three um, leading political parties. Tell us um, what it's all about. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, very good, uh, ti timely and necessary, right, to have this conversation. And, and I don't think any um, station is addressing this issue. So I thank you uh, and uh, your staff for at least thinking outside the box to get this conversation uh, going. And thank you for inviting me again. Yes, the uh, I have reviewed the Labour Party uh, uh, PDP and then um, uh, the People's Democratic Party and uh, all progressive um, party uh, manifestos. And I looked at all of the uh, declarations mm -hmm. and I also now pay attention to the section that affect me, really, mm -hmm. uh, which is, of course, uh, education, sports and social uh, uh, development. Uh, you know, so in uh, reviewing uh, all of them, I have made some observation, and as we go forward, I will try, I will uh, explain uh, uh, those or share those observations. No, let's not look um, at that. Uh, why, 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 why is it that um, there is a big um, kind of um, omission that is that um, most um, political parties don't really endure so much? I, I looked at the 84 pages from um, the Labour Party. I also looked at the almost one and something pages from the PDP. There's um, almost saying the same thing and there's little not so much dwelling. On, on port. Do politics and sport, do they, do, do they necessarily mean to mix up? Or can't one do without the other? Aha. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Look, look. Politics is in all of our DNA, right? Mm -hmm. In the political scientists have, uh, have said that and they remind us that we all play politics. So let's be very clear about that. It is just how we play the politics. Politics and sports it's, uh, it's a new phenomenon that is coming into being now globally. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria cannot be left behind uh, in trying to get into politics. There's a misunderstanding, though, you know, what politics is. I mean, not the regular politics that people play with, with all the negativities and looking for dirty laundry and all of that. stuff. So, no, that's not what sports uh uh, and uh, politics, uh, you know, when they come together, that's uh, that's not what it is. Sports, politics, and sports. It, it means that engaging uh, the those who are going to be making decisions that will affect sportsmen and women, uh, and then uh, and then of course uh, using that to uh, to make society better. And and uh, like like I said earlier, uh, I've looked at uh, the three manifestos. And I've, uh, I have some uh, observations 
and then we can go into that later. Okay, now tell us um, some of these observations um, in um, these um, manifestos that dwell on on sport. Um, as we as we kick off, uh, tell us your, your observations and who probably think um, we have um, how and how um, realistic do you think some of these um, policies are? <laughs> Well, let me start with uh, the Labour Party. Uh, I've looked at the Labour Party, and um, when you look at the Labour Party, the Labour Party has about seven parties. Mm. If you look at the first one, which says that, that to secure Nigeria, end banditry and uh, insurgency and uh, unite our dear nation okay. to manage our diversity such that no one is left behind. Mm. So that is the first, uh, and that is... In addressing insecurity then if you go to number six okay. right and it goes uh, it says that uh, enhance the human capacity of nigerian youths for productivity and global competitiveness through investment in world-class scholarship and research quality healthcare, and entrepreneurship education okay so those are the two areas there's nothing about sports mm. being mentioned here at all right so that is one critical observation, right? So that is uh, my suggestion again to, you know, to the party handlers is that this is a, a gross uh, 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 omission. Okay. Then, then you go to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, which was very, you know, was very good, impressive, right? And, uh, and in, in this document, they, they, it, 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 it was published in 2019, initially okay. and uh, and that and they have the uh they call it the policy so mm -hmm. if you look at it it's covered uh, everything and then the one that has to do with sports mm -hmm. really got to me right it, it started by saying sports development is an integral part of our national economy mm -hmm. uh strategic focus and not mm -hmm. only because it is a sector of massive job creation okay uh, but also it is veritable tool for uniting our people so yeah. that's a good opening for okay. the pdp does that tells me you know that pdp is thinking about sports okay. as part of the contributors to national development i can go into that later the specific okay. of that then you go to apc right now apc which is the uh all progressive uh that's uh, uh uh, yes, party, right? Okay, and you can see a difference, and mm -hmm. and 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 we understand that, right? I mean, APC is in government, and they've been they've been doing a lot of uh, 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 things on sports since 2015, okay. right, up till now. So okay. so it is expected, you know, that uh, they have uh, a better APC, manifesto. Uh -huh, on, on sports, on sports. I'm not going to pass judgment now okay. until we we'll look at all of that but but you can see you know for for me looking from the outside and then you know try to move uh sports mm. in, in the direction that it, sh it should have been since our independence right okay. now there will be no reason not to solve the lingering problem facing our sport there's no, there's no way. It's, it's, it, it is good. I'm very excited, mm -hmm. you know, that I have this opportunity to really uh, look at these documents and then, and then, and then present it to Nigerians and say, look, you know, the problem is not going to be the uh, the document. It's okay. there. It is going to be the implementation. Sure. We talked about this in my last in my last uh, program here. So, so now, um, I, I, um, influential. A sport fraternity, sport communities, sport associations in deciding um, um, in deciding politics. Because you know, globally there are some sport fraternities that determine the outcome of politics. Um, a lot of um, people have decided, like for example, in NFL, we know NFL is big in America and um, they've decided um, so many things. I actually started the kneeling. I'm sure a lot of people will remember the kneeling in the NFL. How important are sports um, fraternities to determine the outcome of politics or election? Okay, we have to be very clear when we try to make this comparison 
right? Because, okay, professional sports on one hand, and then we have amateurish uh, sports on the, the other end, right? Those, um, LeBron James does that in, uh, in NBA. Um, and then uh, and in soccer, the, the number one, uh, the best player in, in, in American uh, women's team, right? I can go on Serena Williams in my field, right? You know, so they are, they've become outspoken. My boss, my teacher, my mentor, the late Arthur Ashe, right, got me talking uh, uh, or prepared as, you know, prepared me for what I'm doing today. So they're all activists. So you're going to see uh, athletes that have accomplished so much and they have a voice and they want to express it. Okay, which is fine, right? Okay, so on the other hand, right, the rest of the, in Nigeria, for example, we are not there yet, you know. So part of my job as an educator is, is to now educate uh, 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 the, the the fraternity, to use your word, right, you know, and then bring them together, you know, to uh, begin to take ownership uh, or just have, at least have this proprietary interest in sports development, improvement, and sustainability. So I'm excited about that, you know, and I'm going to give Sunday Diary credit, you know, for that because he now he has set the foundation for a lot of good things that could happen uh, uh, going forward. Uh, so, so if you look at it, if you look at the history of uh, Nigerian um, uh, sports development, right, you you will see that <laughs> we've been struggling, and str there are other a lot of other issues that we can go into that much later. Are, are we closer? Are we closer? Because you live in both worlds. I, I have to let some people. You're in Florida, and you have so much experience on what's going on in Nigeria having to work with several sports um, administrators in the past, and you yourself being a sport now, how close are we to um, getting to the stage of making sport community a determinant in the outcome of politics or elections? Because we know that um, we have um, the market groups are very important, the uh, MBA, the Nigerian Bar Association, the market social group women, uh, wings of women groups and all that are very uh, important. How close do you think the sport fraternity is, is close to becoming as big as the Nigerian Bar Association who organizes um, um, events um, for, for stakeholders in election? How close do you think we are? And what can we do to get we, there? Yeah, we, 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 we're not close yet. We're just at the embryonic uh, uh, stage of our, you know, sports uh, development. We've been talking, we've been fighting. Uh, you can see what is happening uh, in, um, uh, in, in, uh, in sports association, National Sports Association, going to court and all of that. And uh, so, so those are impediments. And then, um, but we are, we've, um, we're, we're getting over that, you know, with the new dispensation now uh, is going to be, um, you know, it's going to be the first step. I think, I think, we are in a position now with a lot of ex-internationals, uh, ex-nationals, you know, that uh, have come to realize that, yes, they need to develop their own capacity. They need to get involved. You talked about uh, the National Sports uh, Federation and State Sports Association. Uh, you know, so they need to get involved there first. When they get involved there first, and then we can come together and then I'll provide our help in providing that leadership you know, for the coming together of uh, the Nigerian sports fraternity to look at issues. And it's going to be a win-win for everyone. Nigeria is so huge. The population, youth population is so big. Uh, resources are there, right? It is a mis mismanagement of resources and other stuff uh, is, uh, is, is the problem. So we are not there yet, but we are having this conversation now, and it's going to change the narrative and 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 i'm glad that uh uh you know chief sunday diary has gotten me involved uh and uh, it's listening it's listening so so we'll see okay fine, fine. Now let's now look at the manifestos of um this um political party each of them gives you a glimpse of hope which of them is more reliable though I, I'm, I'm not asking you to to speak for any political party but it's a, it's a decision yeah. you can make for yourself because you are also, we are all political animals, like you said. But which of these manifestos have been read 
has given you a glimpse of what it should be. Okay, so looking at looking at it, I, I'm going to put uh, the Labour Party manifesto on sports aside. Okay, I've already challenged them now, you know, to go back and look at their manifesto and then see how they can get in the conversation because, uh, right, they're going to lose that little segment. Remember, in politics, number, you know, people talk about numbers game and all, you know, it, it can make a difference. And the population of sportsmen and women in Nigeria is growing, mm. right, you know, with all the awareness. And we can see what happens uh, after the World, World Cup. I mean, when we didn't even qualify for the World Cup, uh, our Nigeria went, you know, <laughs> depression started coming in, right? You know, so so sports is very critical. So I'm going to put uh, Labour Party aside and then let them, you know, I've given them an assignment, you know, so let them go go work on it. So then let me go to Atiku's uh, 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 vision for sports. And I, I, I like it. I like it, and I think um, uh, it's in the right direction, right? And all of the stuff. Um, you know, uh, uh, in there. My favorite, you know, of course, is going to be the uh, the APC uh, 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 sports, their, their vision for sports, right? Why? Because if you look at it, it is a continuation of the last, what, since 2007 years, right. right? We can see that going, you know, so, so and I've been involved since 2015, Right, I've been involved even before then. I've been involved in, uh, you know, with the PDP, uh, with Indanusa, right, in and KG uh, and uh, and what uh, Alasan Yakmut, right, you know. So, so, so I know, uh, I, I can see because I was part of the writing up a lot of these documents, right, in, even the high performance uh, document, you know. So, I was part of it with the KG, Patrick KG. So 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 I can see, and I want to be identified with that aspect, you know, of of that, so that we have continuity, and then of course we can now go into how America, how Nigerians can, uh, you know, come together, you know, to now have a direction. Once we have, see, the policy is out. Okay, so we have a policy now. Nobody is going to say we don't have a policy. What we need to do is to refine this policy as we go on, right, to, to filter it, you know, so that it is manageable. I'm also suggesting, you know, to uh, uh, Sunday Diary that, uh, you know, we need to have a guideline, you know, that will now Professor. be what the sports associations, uh, sports federations, uh, you know, and those who are going to be driver of the policy so that they have a document with them. We're having that conversation now. You know, so 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 that is that is where I am. Okay. In uh, in, in times of uh, you know which policy addresses the the, the right. The I mean, which people. manifesto addresses sports the better? I'm going to go with the APC okay. uh, 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 manifesto vision for sports. Okay. Okay. Lastly, um, we time is no longer our um, by our side right now as we go on in the program. What are the two major things that needs to be done if eventually one of the three um, political party candidates, presidential candidates, um, becomes president without not wasting so much of our time, time far spent? Yeah, professor? yeah, 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 no, 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 absolutely, absolutely. The, 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 the next president must be the president of education and then sports. It must embrace education and then sports, right, and then youth. So those three things, uh, uh, and then once uh, the nexus between those three is is what uh, uh, I, I would I would expect, you know. Okay. So once the president, the new president, uh, understands that, and then surround himself with uh, uh, people. good people, uh, uh, good people, good advisors, right? Okay. Like we have right now, we have a uh, we have a uh, Omokachi uh, as the okay. uh, as the advisor, and so 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 it's good. We have the template. And then I wish I wish uh, the three uh, leading candidates uh, all the best. Okay. And then uh, Nigeria is going to be great again. Thank you very much. Um, I, I, we will be talking more on this as um, the day come closer to to the election day. Thank you very much, um, Professor um, Sadiq um, Abdullah, for your time. Thank you for having me. 
Yeah, thank you. That's, um, that's Professor Sadiq um, Abdullah, a veteran sport magistrator. Um, he has so many publications on development of sport in a country. That's all we could take on today's program. I'm Steve Mudashiv Shetu. Thanks for watching. Same time tomorrow, we'll be giving you all what you need to know in the world of sport. Bye for now.